Hello, my name is Aditi Sinha and I am going to present on the topic Global Submission of New Drug Application. The table of content include introduction, goals of NDA, guidance document for NDA, bioavailability and bioequivalency studies submitted in NDA or IND general considerations, changes to an approved NDA or ANDA, container closure systems for packaging human drugs and biologics, guidelines for drug master file that is DMF, drug information required in NDA and general requirement for filing NDA. What is new drug application? So the new drug application is the vehicle through which the drug sponsors formally propose that the FDA or DCGI that is Drug Control General of India to approve a new investigational drug for sale and marketing after phase three of clinical trials. It is a comprehensive document with 15 sections that provide data on animal and human studies, pharmacology of the drug, toxicology, and dosage and contains information about the drugs manufacturing processes. Form FDA 356H contains the information about the application to market a new drug biologics or an antibiotic drug for human use. The purpose of NDA is to provide the FDA reviewer adequate data to ensure the safety and efficacy of the drug labeling and manufacturing processes. Once submitted, the FDA takes approximately 60 days to decide whether to review the application or reject it, reject it due to missing information. So this flowchart explains how the process of NDA submission will be done. So the process initiate with the pre investigational new drug application form submission. If that application form feasible and marked OK by Food and Drug Administration that is FDA, then the process of preclinical trial will begin. That includes three phases, phase one, phase two and phase three. Further information regarding the clinical trial materials, analytical methods, regulatory processes, medical communication are required. Then the process of finally the NDA submission will be done. So the next topic is goals of NDA. So the goals of NDA are to provide enough information to permit FDA reviewer to reach the following key decisions. That is whether the drug is safe and effective in its proposed use and whether the benefits of the drug outweigh the risks. Whether the drug proposed labeling that is package inserts is appropriate and what it should contain. The third is whether the methods used in, in manufacturing the drug and the controls used to maintain the drug's quality are adequate to preserve the drug's identity, strength, quality, and purity. So the next topic is guidance documents for NDA. So the guidance documents provide guidelines to the processing content and evaluation or approval of applications and also to the design, production, manufacturing, and testing of the regulated products. Some of the guidance documents to help prepare NDAs are bioavailability and bioequivalency studies submitted in NDAs or INDs general considerations, changes to an approved NDA or ANDA, container, container closure systems for packaging human drugs and biologics, format and content of the microbiology section of an application, format and content of the clinical and statistical sections of an application, Summary of new drug and antibiotic applications, format and content of the summary of new drug and antibiotic applications. So the further guidance document include formatting, assembling and submitting new drug and antibiotic applications, guideline for submitting supporting documentation in drug applications for the manufacture of drug product, NDAs, impurities in drug substances, format and content of human pharmacokinetics and bioavailability section of an application, format and content of the non-clinical pharmacology or toxicology section of an application, drug master files guidelines, FDA, IND, NDA, ANDA or drug master file binders, PET drug application content and format for NDAs or ANDAs. Here the PET means positron emission tomography, which is related to the radioactive drug substances. 
so if we talk about some of the important guidance document the most important is bioavailability and bioequivalence studies submitted in nda or ind general considerations studies to measure bioavailability and or to establish bioequivalence of the product are important elements in support of ind ndas and nda supplements bioavailability means the rate and extent to which the active ingredients or active iot is absorbed from the drug product and become available at the site of action 21 cfr 320a describe all the necessary information of bioavailability ba data provide an estimate of the fraction of the drug absorbed as well as provide information related to the pharmacokinetics of the drug bioequivalence means the absence of the significant difference in the rate and extent to which the active ingredients or active iots in pharmaceutical equivalents or pharmaceutical alternatives become available become available at the site of drug action when administered at the same molar dose under similar condition in an appropriately designed study now, all the information regarding bioequivalence is given in cfr 21 320.1e studies to establish b between two product are important for certain formulation or manufacturing changes occurring during the drug development and post approval changes in b the study exposure profile of a test drug product is compared to that of the reference drug product the other important guidance document include changes to an approved nda or anda this guidance provide recommendations to holder of new drug application that is nda and abbreviated new drug application that is anda is who intend to make a post approval changes in accordance with the section 505a of the federal food drug cosmetic act and 314.70 under the section 21 cfr the guidance covers recommended reporting categories for post approval changes for drug other than specified biotechnology and specified synthetic biological product it supersedes the in guidance of the same title published november 1999 recommendations are provided for post approval changes in components and compositions manufacturing sites manufacturing processes specifications container closure system and labeling as well as miscellaneous changes and multiple related changes recommendations on reporting category for change is relating to specified biotechnology and specified synthetic biological product regulated by cder are found in the guidance of for industry the next is container closure system for packaging human drugs and biologics the federal food drug and cosmetic act mandates the need of adequate information related to packaging information packaging materials the section 501A3 of the act states that the drug is deemed to be adulterated if its container is composed in whole or in part of any poisonous or deleterious substance which may render the content injurious to health in addition the section 502 of the act states that a drug is considered misbranded if there are packaging omissions also section 505 of the act required a full description of the methods used in and the facilities and control used of packaging of drugs section 505 b1d of the act states that an application shall, shall include a full description of the method used in the manufacturing processing and packaging of such drug this includes facilities and control used in the packaging of a drug product the another and most common one is guideline for drug master file that is gmf the drug master file dmf is a submission to the food and drug administration that may be used to provide confidential detailed information about facilities processes or article that is used in the manufacturing processing packaging and storing of one or more human drugs the submission of a dmf is not required by law or fda regulations a dmf is submitted solely at the discretion of the holder the information contained in a dmf may be used to support an investigational new drug application that is ind a new drug application nda 
an abbreviated new drug application ANDA, another DMF, an export application, or amendments and supplements of any of these. The drug information required in a new drug application. So it includes proposed labeling, manufacturing information and safety updates. The next is susceptibility of drug to abuse data from studies that may have been conducted outside the US, institutional review board, compliance information, patent information, direction for the use of drug. The another most important topic is general requirements for filing NDA. So the number of copies required are before 1985, three copies are required. Now only two copies are sufficient. That are archival copy and review copy. Archival copy is a complete copy of an application submission, which includes reference copy for FDA that is retained by FDA and locate information not contained in review copy also included in archival copy. The second is review copy. The review copy of an application is divided into five or six sections containing technical and scientific information separately bound. It contains copy of cover letter, application form, overall summary, index, specific review section. Continue the discussion that the doc what documents are required then a copy of FDA cover letter is also required, a copy of application form, a copy of index to the entire application, a copy of the overall summary, a copy of a reference or authorization letter to access new drug application or drug master file etc. are also required. So these are some documents which are required for filing new drug application along with their folder color and form number. So the first copy, archival copy, uh, are compiled in blue color file and the form number include FDA 2626. So other uh, technical and statistical information uh, required in archival copy includes chemistry and manuf chemistry, manufacturing and control section which are included in folder color red and the form number is FDA 2626A. The yellow folder color includes the information about the non-clinical pharmacology and toxicology section and have the form number FD 2626B. Human pharmacokinetics and bioavailability section included in folder color orange and form number FD 2626C. Another document include clinical data section which is compiled in form folder white and form number FD 2626B. Another folder color light brown include the information about the microbiological section and have the form number FD 2626E. The also another statistical section have the form number 2626F and have the folder color green. And lastly, the field copy, which is um, compiled in folder color maroon and have the form number FD 2626G. These are the references. Thank you.